Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Therapy. And today I want to talk to you about a few symptoms of PTSD that I don't feel like people talk about a lot. So obviously we're laying down, kind of. <laughs> um, so that is the first thing. Um, PTSD causes fatigue and I just feel like that's really weird and no one talks about it a lot. So for me, whenever I go through like stages of fatigue, I guess we'll call it, or phases of fatigue, it typically is between like 10 days to 15 days at a time. Um, obviously it could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more, but it is like where I feel like I can't get it together. <clears throat> I can't get up. Um, not like, I mean, I, I guess I physically can get up, but it's really hard. And like once I do like get up and start doing stuff, I get really tired and need to sit down again. And the closest thing I can think of to describe it to you would be like um, sleep paralysis. So if you've ever had sleep paralysis, like where you're laying there and you feel like you need to get up and like you're like, I don't know, like you feel like you're like, okay, I need to get up, I need to get up. And you'll be in a dream and like you're trying to move and you can't. That's kind of the closest thing I feel like I can describe this type of fatigue to because it's just like, I don't know, it's like I can't. So it doesn't matter that I know I need to get up or that like there's something that I need to do. Like I will physically just, I feel like I cannot. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing, which I just feel like is strange and I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. The other thing that I feel like people don't talk about a lot is the dizziness. And I don't know if that's something everyone experiences or not, but for me, um, whenever I get dizzy, it's more like I'm walking on a boat. It's not like I'm dizzy, like the world is spinning and I'm, you know, like, not like a hangover dizzy. It's like dizzy, like I said, like I'm walking on a boat. And it's just slightly off balance kind of dizzy. And I feel like that's another thing I never hear anyone talk about. I hear people talk about PTSD as far as like, um, panic attacks, anxiety attacks, dissociation, things like that. Obviously, um, feeling like you need to hide, feeling like you can't, um, like you need to get out of a room or that you need to go and take cover, like that, that type of thing. But I don't hear a lot about the things that I'm talking about. The other thing is shortness of breath. So for me, um, whenever I have shortness of breath, a lot of times it'll be for days. It's not just like, oh, I feel like I can't breathe all of a sudden. It is for days. And it's usually surrounding a panic attack. It's usually after a panic attack that that happens. Um, you know, of course it can happen randomly as well, but a lot of times it's really like for a day or two after a panic or anxiety attack. So that's kind of when those happen for me. But I just basically wanted to share that stuff with you guys because I feel like no one talks about it. And I know a lot of people are here for the service talk stuff. So I feel like a lot of people who watch my channel probably have PTSD or um, similar things. So I know that whenever I've done research and tried to find people talking about this, it's really hard to find people who talk about it. And I actually felt like maybe a month or two ago, um, I was having a really bad day. I had dissociated. I'd had a panic attack, I couldn't get it together, and I just felt like this wasn't normal. And so I had put out a message on our Instagram asking anyone who had these symptoms to message me and just let me know, you know, hey, do you have these symptoms with PTSD? Or, um, you know, do you have these symptoms and it's not PTSD, it's something else? Because I was pretty convinced that I needed to have, you know, myself checked out for something else. And there were quite a few people who did message me and say, oh yeah, it's PTSD, you know, that's uh, not uncommon. Or there's people in my support group who have that same stuff happen. So basically I just wanted to put something out here like publicly, I guess, so that people who are experiencing that can find it and see that they're not alone and that no, you, you know, obviously if you feel like you need to go to the hospital, go for it. But um, if you have PTSD, it probably is your PTSD, so that's all but just a disclaimer I'm not a doctor so if you feel like you need to go to the hospital then you know go do that don't take my medical advice <laughs> um, I just wanted to share my experience because I thought it might be able to help someone else 
But anyways, so we are just relaxing and going to lay here and hopefully I will feel less fatigued um, at some point. I think it's about four o'clock. So probably not gonna happen for us today, but that's okay because I have my best little buddy right here helping me. So anyways, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Um, leave a comment and let me know if you like this type of content, if you would like for me to talk more about like PTSD, I guess, really mental health stuff. Um, and yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.